Alrighty, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you about all of the PS4 emulators that you guys are going to need to know about. First off, I'm going to be going over all of the current PS4 emulators that are out right now, coming from Orbital, GPCS4, Spine, RPCS4, and also a new emulator that I never heard about until today, which is called PS4 Delta. Now I'll be going over all four of these emulators from their current progress, their development cycles, how to stay in touch with these um, emulators for the latest updates. Like say for example, a big new groundbreaking progress I've made with these emulators. I'm gonna showcase you guys where to get the most, like the latest updates with these emulators. And also the current state of these emulators that I would predict like which emulator that would make the most progress out of all these emulators i'm just giving my bold pr predictions with that so yeah with that without further ado let's get right into the video let's get it all righty first emulator we're going to talk about is gpcs4 now this emulator is the most popular emulator out of the four due to the fact that it's open source which is really helpful due to the fact that you can have multiple people working on it so it's basically a let's say a community base so when something goes wrong another person can come in and help and build on the emulator basically and also the community is pretty active and they're also really popular due to the fact that recently they got um one of their games going playing in game which is we are doom i already made a setup guide on how to set up the gpcs4 on your, your windows computer and that I basically go in, in much detail as possible to explain how, how basically you can set this up. Now this emulator, we go on the GitHub page. Recently, they haven't made they haven't made many too too many updates. Like five months ago, they made an update to their um, emulation build, and you can see their latest progress. As you can see, we got We Are Doom, the game right here, and they have other things. They go in much in detail. Stuff about coding if you understand coding in general. Now they also leave the Discord on their GitHub page. It's around here somewhere, like right here. Their, their Discord. Now I'll leave I'll leave um in the description to everything you guys will need um to keep up to date with these emulators, um the Discords, their Twitter handles, Patreon builds if you want to support to make the development process much more faster. As you know, um, support really helps these teams um, make progress a little bit much more quicker than possible. You know what I mean? They're taking their time out of the day to do this. And it would be nice for them to get a little bit of support, I will say. Now the GPCS4 team, if you go to their Discord server, it's really active there. I why that came up. Go ahead in general. As you can see, pretty active here. Every day they're making updates towards the emulator and the help section. If you need help with something, they usually help. I mean, this course is pretty active in general. So yeah, um, GPCS4 out of the four emulators is pretty popular due to the fact that it's open source. And a lot of and a lot of people are working on the emulator, so it's really handy. And this emulator, um, like I said before, you can actually set up a build and play one of their games. Um, we are Doom. I think We Are Doom is the only game that's currently um, goes end game. It's not fully playable, but it goes end game. Like I said, I made a setup guide for that. If you guys want to check that out, I'll leave that sh um, in the description down below. Make sure you guys check that out. Now. The next emulator that's that's um, really well and far in development is Spine. Now, Spine is uh, I would say a pretty interesting emulator due to the fact that even though one person is working on Spine, even though one person is working on Spine, it's it's not windows based like it's only for linux which is a different operating system 
compared compared to Windows. And not a lot of people have the operating system um, Linux. So I'll say th that's one of the reasons why it's not too popular. But as funny as that sounds, Spine has more games going in game than any other emulators. Some of these em um, PS4 emulators don't even boot up. They only, they only have a custom build. So and Spine is also is a one man team basically, and it's it's closed source, which is. You know what I mean? It's kind of it's kind of hard to put Spine out there, and it's also like I said before, is Linux is exclusive, and the creator of it does not want to show share any information about it, like about the source codes, the builds, anything. He's basically keeping it a little bit private to himself. And I believe recently he said that he's gonna put more information about the emulator, about the builds, when the PS5 release. I don't know why he wants to do that. I guess it's on him that he wants to do that. But usually, I there's there's no de dedicated Discord server for this. So he usually posts um, information about um, his emulator. I think usually through blogs and other stuff like that. But he doesn't have a dedicated Twitter handle or all that good stuff like you see, will see from these other emulation teams do have. Like some of these have Discord, they have Twitters to keep up to date with their progress, stuff like that in general. Now, the next emulator we're gonna talk about is, uh, I'll say this is a pretty interesting emulator. This emulator came, was one of the first PS4 emulators that came into Limelight. I'll say it's Orbital. Now, Orbital, Orbital in general is a really interesting emulator. At first, when I was hearing information about this emulator, it was like kind of like a low-end build um, emulator. As the creator, I believe his name is um, Alexandro Sanchez. He was posting a lot of updates about the emulator through his YouTube, his tw uh, his Twitter, and he also have a Patreon, uh, which I'll leave all those things in the description down below, like I said, for you can support, check out his progress with the emulator. He was, I think this was the very first person that came into Limelight about the PS4 emulator and basically how it works and stuff like that. Now, Orbital doesn't have any games running at all, and it will have a build that you can set up right now and you can go set up in your PC and make it play. But I think, as you can see his Twitter handle, made a lot of progress. Let me go check out his, his YouTube channel. Cause if you check out his YouTube channel, he has made a lot of progress with this emulator. Uh, this video is posted on his YouTube. I'll go to it real quick. And you can see all the improvements he's done with this emulator. The user interface, the graphical output, a low level emulator, stuff like that. I think he got it. He's explaining and through through a convention, uh, basically how this emulator works in general. And then one of the biggest improvements I've seen is that he got it running on his PC. About to showcase you it right now. Like really advanced stuff. Like not the average person would, wouldn't understand what's going on here, but he's showing me that he's actually got it, it working on his PC, which is was a huge milestone. And this was last year of June, June 13, 2019. And he got it booting up to safe mode, which is at the time was a huge step in PlayStation 4 emulation in general. So yeah. Like I said, I'll leave in the description down below 
to the GitHub, the source code. It won't do much to the average person, but if somebody wanna come in, contribute and help, leaving the, the GitHub page to the source code, it would be very helpful. His Twitter handle to get some updates on what's going on with the emulator and progress he's making in general. And the Patreon support if you want um, development cycles a little bit much more faster as you as you guys may know um, supporting the emulation team is really helpful as you for for example Yuzu Yuzu is an emulator that has made tremendous progress and it wouldn't be where it is today without the support from the community like contributing the patreon and that basically makes the development cycle a little bit much more faster and it also I'll leave the link to the discord also GPCS4 Discord, I mean Orbital Discord, not GPCS4. Orbital Discord, as you can see right here. General discussions and stuff like that. Like, like I believe only two emulator um, teams have Discords is GPC, GPCS4 and also Orbital. Which is really, which is really cool, because you can have, you can get like much more faster updates on what they're working on and how the development cycle is basically is, in general. All right. Um. After that, I covered the three most important emulators so far: GPCS4, Orbital, and Spine, which is currently, I'll say, the three emulators that are making the most progress. Out of, out of any other emulator. Now there's other emulators as of RPC S4 and PS4 Delta. I haven't heard too much about the um, PS4 Delta. It's my first time basically hearing about it and I know they have a Discord server, but I, I know it's the, the server itself is not too active, but people are saying that they're doing a lot of, a lot of groundwork behind the scenes because the developers are making a lot of work done privately it's not too it's not too too community based and it's closed source it's not open source so it's another private emulator and rpc s4 is another emulator that's being worked on the rpc s3 m um, team as you guys may know rpc s3 um, is a really popular playstation 3 emulator that has gotten a lot of PS3 games booting up and some of them even fully playable, which is really impressive because as you guys may know, PS3 games is pretty hard to emulate and the progress they have made with RPC S3 is pretty, I would say is pretty phenomenal in my opinion. And they're looking into PS3 emulation. They looking into dabble in a little bit. Now this is, uh, it's not open source, it's closed source. Is being worked privately and so far not many not too many people know much emu um, not emulation, um, um, information about this emulator in general but if it's I, I have like uh, I say I have some confidence if the RPC S3 team is working on it there's gonna be some pro progress being made very very soon with this emulator now they do have a github page but the github page as you can see it's pretty empty not it's <laughs> Not much is um, being going around with this emulator, so it's, I'll say, I'll give it a few more years before you hear more information about RPC S4 and the development cycle on how the, pro how the process of this emulator is going around. It's, it's pretty not well known. I'll say RPC S4 and PS4 Delta, it's, it's not, um, very much known in the public eye, but like other emulators like Spine and Orbital and GPCS4 now. How I'm looking in the future and the development cycle of all these emulators, I'll say GPCS4 is going to make a lot of progress throughout because how, how, how I'm seeing it right now with these um, emulators, GPCS4, it's, I believe they will make the most progress out of um, all these emulation teams. And second is Spine, even though I know there's like 50 games working in Spine. And I don't think, 
I think the development cycle with Spine will slow down a little bit due to the fact that it's kind of like a one-man team in Orbital. You know, Orbital is it's it's made a lot of progress, but it's made a lot of progress slowly. So I'd say Orbital will be the third of what I see like with the process and the development cycle and how fast we will see games going being playable at a certain point or even getting games playable going in game. I'll say Orbital will be the third. And I'll say RPCS4, how it's working right now, be the fourth. And PS4 Delta, due to the fact I don't know not too many information about this emulator and how the development cycle is going for it. So that's how I basically see with these um, PS4 emulators in general. Now, this is pretty surprising due to the fact that there's at least like four or five emulators being made for the PS4. Usually we see like two or three emulation teams at max working on an emulator for a certain console but like four or five emulation four or five people that are working on a certain console emulation it's something i've never seen before and it's it's kind of like it's kind of new to me in general so yeah that's basically about it um if you guys want to know more information more updates towards these emulators like i said i'll leave in the description down below that you guys can check out them uh, make sure you guys support them as much as you can because the more this more of the support you give the better the development cycle is usually is with these emulators so yeah that's basically about it if you guys enjoy this video or find this video any helpful at all please leave a like share and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and i see you guys in the next one peace out